with the Wave 5 teaser trailer finally showing something from Wave 5. We were all super excited that we had actually seen footage and the characters, but there are some interesting points and there are also some really big talking points. But the biggest talking point right now is what are the characters going to be for the final wave of the Booster Course Pass for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Let's discuss. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the channel. And before I actually start this video, I wanted to shout out my Discord server again for you guys. And I have such an incredible crowd in there so far. And if you guys do want to join it, the link is in the description. So the first thing I want to go over in this video is just a recap of what happened at the Nintendo Direct, specifically for Wave 5. And I remember the longest time we were all waiting for something revolving around Wave 5 ever since Nintendo Canada put out that tweet, you know, I made videos about it, how the tension was higher, and pretty much we're just waiting on something, whether that is a character or anything of that nature. So we actually did finally get a brand new course, and I thought personally it was going to be a city track, but Nintendo actually blew us all away with the bathroom track, known as Squeaky Clean Sprint, so that's already confirmed for Wave 5. And the other thing that was, you know, boggling a lot of people's minds was the characters, whether that would be one character, two characters, which is what I thought personally we were going to see two characters, and I'll talk about that more in a minute, or, you know, the unthinkable happened, we got three characters, and, you know, the characters' predictions were actually, you know, kind of like how they were at the very beginning, you know, when the prefix got leaked but the first thing I want to go over are the characters so we got in P Piranha you know which makes sense I predicted them as well coming in wave 5 you know with the whole Piranha Plant Cove situation but obviously that's not happening we actually got Kamek as well which was actually leaked to be in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or Mario Kart 8 and I actually learned that recently I know he would scrap for Mario Kart 64 but we actually did get him in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and it is so great that we actually finally get to see him I'm excited to play as him you know just more characters more fun to be have and the biggest elephant in the room no not that elephant is wiggler and i do not hate this character i actually like this character it was the only like you know weird character i played in mario kart 7 other than you know lakitu we're not talking about honey queen or anything of that nature but it's just so weird that nintendo actually brought wiggler instead of diddy kong and you know it's just the tension right now for Wave 6 characters are so much higher because of the way that they actually did this. And, you know, I'm glad that we actually did get new characters, and I'm glad Wiggler's here. And, you know, the community is actually really excited about it. You know, I'm still shocked about it to this day. But that's the biggest talking point right now. So now I want to rewind time back to before the Wave 5 teaser trailer actually came out. And, you know, I did post a poll a little while ago talking about, you know, if Nintendo actually was to reveal Wave 5, how many characters do you think would get revealed? And a majority, almost 100%, voted, like, two characters. And, you know, when they actually did reveal three characters, I was sitting there shocked. You know, I thought it was going to be characters like PD Piranha and Diddy Kong, or PD Piranha and Funky Kong, or PD Piranha and Kamek. You know, just characters like that. And, you know, I don't think I actually voted for Kamek in the, you know, final game. I think I voted Pauline. PD Piranha, Diddy Kong, Funky Kong, and Rob for my predictions, and obviously that prediction is way wrong, and I'm pretty sure 90% of your guys' predictions are way wrong too after the Nintendo teaser trailer for Wave 5 was actually shown. So it's just crazy that Nintendo actually decided to, you know, drop a massive curveball really straight out of left field. Pretty much is not even a foul ball at this point. It's more of like a home run because instead of us getting, you know, two characters and saving three, we've gotten three now. And it's kind of like, you know, like a big old game of like, I don't even know, like a reality TV show or something like that. Like, what characters are we going to be seeing for the final wave? And it's just crazy because now the predictions are even harder than what they were before. So now what I want to talk about is pretty much what are the final two characters going to be for wave six? And, you know, I know it's a little bit too early to talk about wave six, but I feel like this is a good topic to talk about now. We can talk about it when it does get closer as well. But I'm excluding any sort of extra DLC, you know, theorized DLC, whether that is the Booster Course Pass 2, Character Pass, Wave 7, you know, with extra characters, yada, yada, yada. Everything like that is going to be going aside. I'm strictly focusing on the two character slots that we have left for the game. So the first thing that I want to do is go over all the characters that we have yet to see and all the character predictions that I've seen personally on my comment section, on my YouTube videos, my Discord servers, etc. So... Diddy Kong, Funky Kong, Rob, personally for me, Pauline, Dixie Kong, and I believe, oh sorry, and Navid as well, 
Those are the six characters that I have seen floating around, and what I want to do is talk about each of these characters and see which character has the most likely outcome. So, let's just talk about the very obvious one, you know, like the sore thumb, I guess you can call it, and pretty much what we're going to be seeing in Wave 6, and if it doesn't come, I will be absolutely shocked, and that character is going to be Diddy Kong, you know, it would fit well with something like DK Mountain, and if DK Mountain does make its grand appearance, you know, its returning appearance, I should say, in Wave 6, Diddy Kong will work absolutely well so personally for me that's gonna be one of my predictions you know I've said that time and time again Diddy Kong is a must for the booster course pass whether that is for wave 5 you know which didn't happen or whether that is gonna be for wave 6 which is what I predicted is going to happen because if we look at some of the tracks DK Mountain and Diddy Kong I feel like that's just a perfect combination because we already have Donkey Kong you know Diddy Kong would be a great fit for you know the final wave of the wave 6 booster course pass with Donkey Kong Mountain so now here we go the second character slot and this is where everybody starts talking let me know what you guys want to think about this and you know maybe you guys aren't even voting donkey kong maybe you're stuck on the last two characters but this is the biggest debate for everybody right now you know i could have titled this video the biggest debate but i think i just did that with the last video excluding the wave 5 trailer so i kind of wanted to say a different title of the video so I've seen so many toss-ups around, you know, I've seen stuff talk about, like, you know, Diddy Kong and Pauline, which is the most logical outcome that is going to be happening, you know, very logical. And I've seen other things, like myself, personally, my gut feeling is telling me, since we've seen curveballs right now from Nintendo, with DS Airship Fortress being replaced with Mario Circuit, from Wave 5, we actually saw the bathroom track, which was supposed to maybe be a city track, like maybe Los Angeles Laps, or maybe Athens Dash, and I'm not talking about the Rome track right now that just got revealed from Nintendo, you know, from Mario Kart Tour, and you know, the character selection from Wave 5, it's very awesome, but also very confusing as well as to, like, why Nintendo decided to do it this way, but I'm not complaining in any sort of way. But the last spot, you know, my gut, and you know, I might get some hate for this, and listen to me first, I feel like for a very strong chance it's going to be Diddy Kong and Rob, and the reason why I say Rob, you know, I already talked about Diddy Kong, and Rob, I feel like personally, we've only seen him once, and you know, other characters like, you know, Funky Kong, and you know, Hammer Bros, Hammer Bros is out of the question, because we have not seen it, you know, in any sort of mainline game, and I feel like since we already got a tour character from Mario Kart Tour, you know, we just got Kamek as well, so, and also PD Piranha, which was already featured in Double Dash, but like, the biggest thing that I have right now is, you know, with the curveballs going around, I just have a strange feeling that Rob the Robot is, you know, going to be the final character, and I'm really not afraid to say that opinion online, you know, I know I get some people might not like that, but it's just so difficult to even predict, that's my gut feeling, and the more logical prediction that I see everywhere online is, you know, Diddy Kong and Polly, you know, that just... Everybody's saying that right now. I've seen some other stuff online too talking about how both Kongs can get added. Diddy Kong and Funky Kong or you know Diddy Kong and Nabbit but every slot 90% of the time is containing Diddy Kong. So let me know what you guys think about this entire situation. So I guess you could say my final thoughts for this whole entire situation that happened. Whether that is the booster course pass or whether that is an attendant director or whether that you know just the characters that got revealed. It's absolutely crazy, and you know, just my mind's racing, trying to keep up with everything, you know, trying to follow two Mario Kart games, trying to decipher what tracks could be in Booster Course Pass, or what the next tour is gonna be. Trust me guys, I'm having a lot of fun, but it's so confusing, it's like solving a 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle at that point. You know, I'm trying to keep up with you guys, and you know, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out for you guys. You know, just, I'm not perfect, I want you guys to understand that, you know, predictions are predictions, you know, they are meant to be broken, as we've seen with the Wave 5 teaser trailer, I get it, some people, you know, predicted the bathroom course or, or squeaky clean sprint for Wave 5, but like I said, I think only 5% actually voted for Wiggler, so like I say in all my videos, from now on, you know, coming up from Wave 5 and now Wave 6, you know, DS Mario Circle was kind of like, you know, it was like a, not a slap in the face, I guess you could say, some people it was, but for me, I actually love it, you know, I prefer DS Mario, Air, sorry, I prefer DS Airship Fortress, but you know, I really like Mario Circle, I said that time and time again, but just... 
be prepared for anything at this point within wave five or wave six. You know, we may not actually see Sunset Wilds, you know, despite the music leak, or we may not actually see Koopa Cape. We might even get Wii Moon View High. I said that completely wrong, but Wii Moon View Highway. There we go. I guess I said that correctly. In the booster course pass instead of Koopa Cape, despite the banner leak. So keep your eyes peeled. Keep an open mind when you're listening to my videos. You know, I try to be as, you know, open mind as possible. You know, not afraid to share my opinion online. Speaking of Diddy Kong and Rob the Robot. So, that's my final thoughts. It's crazy that we're even here and we're getting closer and closer to Wave 5. So, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. And hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, please smash the thumbs up button if you guys do like the video. And also, please subscribe to the channel if you guys do want more Mario Kart content and maybe even some other Mario spinoffs. I teased something about that. Maybe we'll slowly drift into that. And no Mario Kart reference right there. So I wasn't trying to. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I just want you guys to stay clean, stay healthy. I think I said that backwards. So first time I screwed up like that on the channel. Bye.